In this video, I will talk about how to calculate the area of different patterns. In my upcoming videos, you will see I will talk about average value and RMS values and I will show you how to calculate the RMS value and average value of different alternating wave shape. To calculate the RMS value and average value, we have to calculate the area under the waveform. Because of that, you have to be familiar with the you have to be familiar with the different patterns and how do we calculate the area of those patterns. If you see square waveform, you will encounter a rectangle like this. Let's say the base of this rectangle is equal to B and the height of this rectangle is equal to H. Now what will be the area of this rectangle? Area A will be simply multiplication of base into height let's say if the base is of 5 meter and the height is equal to 2 meter therefore you will see our area will be 5 meter into 2 meter which will be equal to 10 meter square now if you encounter a triangular waveform like this you see we will have a triangle like this or if you encounter a sawtooth waveform you will see a right angle triangle like this whose this angle will be the right angle therefore this will be the base of this triangle let's say base equal to b let's say the base of this triangle is also b now this will be the height of that right angle triangle i will express height with h now what will be the height of this triangle see if i draw a perpendicular line from this point to this point i will get the height therefore let's say height of this waveform is h or height of this triangle is equal to h so how do we calculate the area of those triangles area will be simply half into base into height let's say if the base is of 5 meter and the height is of let's say 8 meter here the base is of 8 meter and height is equal to 5 meter you will see area of this two triangle will be equal to half into base into height which will be equal to 20 meter square area is equal to 20 meter square that means this triangle or this triangle will occupy an area of 20 meter square if you encounter the trapezium or trapezoidal wave shape how do we calculate the area of this kind of wave shape let's say i have two parallel lines here this is the base one and this is the base two let's say the base one has a length of b1 and the base two has a length of b2 and the distance between two parallel lines will be the height of this trapezoid or trapezium therefore i will denote that with h so how do we calculate the area of this trapezium area a will be equal to half into the sum of parallel lines b1 plus b2 into the distance between the two parallel lines or the height of this trapezium okay if i have a sine wave here let's say i have a voltage p here and in this axis i am taking the theta or omega t so how do we calculate the area of the sine wave over a full cycle? See here we have this positive half cycle and this negative half cycle. During positive half cycle V will be equal to V M sine theta. Let's say for the interval 0 to 5. And v equal to minus v m sin theta for the interval phi to twice phi and we have to calculate the area of this waveform over full cycle that means we have to calculate the area of positive and negative of cycles and we have to add them up so area of this waveform will be equal to integration of 0 to phi v m sin omega t this is the area under positive half cycle plus integration of phi to 
twice phi minus v m sin theta d theta this will be the area of this negative half cycle so this will be the area of the complete cycle let's say i have a waveform like this which represents the current i square and the equation of current is given by i m square sin square theta or omega t so how do we calculate the area of this squared waveform we will simply integrate the current i square within let's say 0 to phi interval area a will be equal to integration of 0 to phi i m square sin square theta d theta if if we use this formula we can calculate the area under this i m square sin square theta waveform okay that's it thank you